Hello, in this video I'm going to explain uh, how to use a Cisco Packet Tracer. It will be a very short introduction about this uh, simulation tool. First, if you are not a Cisco Academy student, you can guest, you can click on guest logging and you can have access to this uh, simulation software from uh, Cisco. So you can use it to simulate the networks, internet work, but most importantly, use it to learn how to configure uh, Cisco routers and Cisco switches. Now you have to wait uh, 15 seconds and then you confirm as guest uh, that you are a guest. So now you have access to the to this uh, working area where you can start using this uh, software. So the first thing here, we're going to visit this rapidly. We have here networking device. So when you select networking device, you can choose between routers, uh, you can choose between switches, you have different types of switches, you have hubs or shared hubs, we have also this access point, wireless routers, we have some security device and uh, one emulation, one emulation. Uh, so here uh, for end device you can select on end devices, we have different types of computers like PC, laptop, servers, printers, IP phone, etc. Uh, also, Cisco Packet Tracer includes the Internet of Things, so you can choose Internet of Things among those available for home. If you want to, for example, simulate smart home, smart city, industrial uh, complex, or power grid. So there are many, many possibilities that can be used with Cisco Packet Tracer. You can also use components like uh, boards, like uh, microcontroller unit, single board computer, our small board computer and you can also choose the actuators and sensors so there are different ways of using this uh, big tool now f in our case here these are the connections so we have different connections so let's learn how to build a simple local area network so let's go back to uh, end devices here we're going to use PCs for example I will drag PC here Okay, this is my first PC. Uh, let's just go to Option Preference, and then I'll select Show Device Model, Show Device Name Label, so something like this. So you can learn, you can play with these buttons here and learn uh, the functionality of each one of them. Now, this is my first PC. I will bring another PC here, uh, third PC maybe. Why not fourth PC? So let me just put these PCs together close to each other just for the sake of having a clear and neat simulation. Now I want to connect these four PCs through a uh, switch. Now here I have to go to networking device, select switch and as a model I will choose 2960. I'll bring it here. So this is 2960. Or maybe let me just use, I will arrange them vertically okay so these are four PCs and this is switch now uh, I will do the same thing I'm going to create second LAN uh, for a second LAN I will do the same thing I will take four PCs here okay for example four PCs one two three four so I can I can rearrange these four pieces together. Okay, so I need also to connect them using switch. So I choose network device, switches, and then select the right model. I put this model here, something like this. Okay, I can also rearrange this. Now, after that, I will uh, I'll bring routers. Uh, I go to networking device, select routers, and as a model, I will choose the 2.8 2811 so I will put this here okay and I will put the second router here so in fact now we have all devices that we need we can add of course we can we can go back to end device you can add laptop you can add printers you can do whatever you want but uh, let's make things uh, simple now let's put some distance between this and this okay so in order to uh, separate between the router and switch. Now this is the first thing. I put all the device that I need. 
in the work area now uh, the second thing I need to do is uh, do the connection but first I have to go to router R0 double click on it zoom in so this is my router we have empty slots by default router has two fast Ethernet interfaces this is what you see in yellow color uh, I want to add a serial interface for example I just turn off the router turn it off uh, I, I choose let's say I choose the week 2t week 2t stands for one interface card one interface card uh, I select this one 2t then I bring the interface I put it in all the small slots I drag this interface into all the small slots and then this large slot here I simply uh, choose I cover it I will not leave it as a good practice uh, I just choose the right cover and then I cover it so instead of leaving it uh, like this so I'm going to cover it like this once I am done I can now turn on my router uh, now I go to the second router I do the same thing I, I do the same thing uh, I zoom in so you see we have two uh, fast Ethernet interfaces uh, I need now to install or insert this week 2 interface which contains a serial interface to insert this interface we are I have to turn off the router I turn it on off and then I can insert the uh, interface card into each one of the empty slots now the larger slot here I simply cover it I put a cover and once I'm done I turn on my router now this router everything is, uh, is is there now the next step once I prepared the router the network interfaces that are needed etc so the next step consists of connect of, of connecting this device by using the right cable or the right connection so I will go to connections now in order to connect computers to a switch and router to a switch I will use the straight throw cable so I will click on this cable here you see the name straight throw cable straight throw cable is there so I'm going to pick the cable and then I will connect one end which is to the fast Ethernet interface of PC and the other end to an empty or a free uh, fast Ethernet interface of a switch and notice that on a switch you always start with fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 1 now uh, the second PC I do the same thing I connect one end of the cable to fast Ethernet or to the network interface card and the other end for example I connect it to the next available interface of the switch and so on but instead of each time coming here picking the cable etc what I do I just select the straight through cable press and control key of the keyboard and then I click on the cable itself after that I, uh, I start I do connection faster so now I don't need this time to go back to connections I'm always holding the cable so I will use that cable to connect all my device so for router 0 I sell I click on it and I find two fast Ethernet interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 so let me use fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and connect it to an available port uh, of the switch uh, okay so the same story here I connect network interface card of each PC to available port of the switch so the next PC I connect it to the next available part of the switch uh, third one and the fourth one fourth one and then the router one the second router I connect fast Ethernet 0 0 to uh, the next available port uh, of the switch now, after I'm done I'm go I need to release the cable by pressing escape uh, key of uh, the keyboard on the keyboard now the cable has been released in order to connect between router 0 and router 1 uh, I need to uh, use a serial cable what is serial cable here I will pick this one this is a serial DCE so you can pick either this one DTE or DCE it doesn't matter so just pick let's say we start with DCE and uh, I click on the router 
of course here I have to select serial interface so the interface that I will use will be serial 0 slash 0 I connect it on the other hand on the other router at serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 so like this now we have uh, we establish a physical connectivity between all our devices now the next step it consists of documenting our network documenting network it's a tedious process basically you have to specify the names IP addresses of your devices this is very important in order to avoid any mistake in the future and also uh, from time to time try you have to save but since you access this uh, software as a guest and you don't have an account Cisco uh, you are not a Cisco Academy student so you don't have an account you have to be very careful when you save because as a guest you can save three times only so just be careful about that be careful when you're going to use your um, uh, the number of uh, saves uh, that you are allowed to use uh, using the system and as a guest uh, okay so the first thing I will do is I change the name of host for example this one I call it I'm going to to, uh, to call it or to name it host host one okay this is this will be host one now the second PC I'm going to name it host two the third PC I will name it host 3 the fourth PC here is host uh, 4 host 4 uh, alright so this one I'm going to name it switch switch 1 SW1 and this will be router RTR1 the other router will be router 2 or RTR2 now the switch here will be switch SW SW2 now with respect to uh, this computers here we can call them for example uh, for example PC PC1 this will be PC1 this will be PC PC2 uh, this will be PC3 and this one will be PC4 uh, of course I can add the server for example I go back to end devices and here I can add a server so uh, I'm going to leave let the server work as a web server I simply need to connect it using a uh, straight through cable so one end of the cable will go to the network interface card the other end of the cable will go to uh, an available port on the switch and um, you see this is orange so if you want to speed up the uh, the convergence of the uh, connection you have to click on fast forward fast forward now uh, the connection is established between the two ends now uh, what is what is left yes everything is there now we have to specify the addresses first let's say that for this network I'm going to use network address 192.168. Uh, let's say <coughs> dot 100 dot zero slash 24 now this is the network address for this network which means that each network now each host is going to have an IP address uh, for example 192.168.100.1 dot 100 dot one slash 24 so this will be the uh, IP address of each host so I can do something like this or can simply put a note next to uh, each host for example take a note from here I write 192.168.100.1 slash 24 and I put it close to uh, the host now I, I use uh, another note to specify the IP address 100.2 slash 24 uh, I use another note of course 192.168.100.3 slash 24 again next note to specify the IP address of the last host which is 192.168.100.4 slash 24 so I can arrange this these IP addresses close to uh, the PC to which they are going to be assigned something like this uh, I can do a similar thing on the other side but first let me just finish with this LAN I need to give an IP address to the fast Ethernet 00 uh, let's let it be for example uh, 250 slash 
24 and this is the IP address of the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 I will I'm going to show this I put this next to this the interface the fast Ethernet 0 0 of the router now I'm done with this network I will go to the other network and specify the network address let's say for this network address it will be uh, 172.16 dot let's say uh, 200 dot 0 slash 24 so I will I will show this I will put this here this means that this is network address of this network and now I'm going to use this network address to extract IP addresses to be assigned to each device so I will take notes from here and then I start mentioning or identifying or implementing IP address of each computer let's say first one would be 172.16.200.1 uh, slash 24 okay so this is the, f the IP address of PC1 I take another note here I write another note which contains the IP address of the second PC it should be 200 200.2 slash 24 okay uh, same story I will specify IP address of the third PC slash 24 okay and this will be the IP address of 172.16.200.4 slash 24 okay and finally I have to specify the uh, IP address of the server let's make it for one 100 172 dot 16 dot 200 dot 100 dot 100 slash 24 so I'm going to assign this to the server and here we are left with the fast Ethernet 0 0 of the router RT2 fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 so the IP address will be 172 dot 16 dot 200 dot 250 slash 24 so let's say let's put the high uh, host address values to router let's assign them to routers to router uh, sorry it should be like this this way now what we are left with we are left with the uh, IP addresses of the serial interfaces so this one is a uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address let's say it will be uh, something like 15 dot uh, 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 30 so uh, well, first I have to uh, specify the network address. So the network address will be 15.0.0.0 slash 30. So this is the network address. So this, this uh, the IP address that I, ex I extract from this network address will be assigned to serial 000 of RTR1. And the second IP address, uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 15.0.0.2 uh, will be assigned to the serial interface of the second router of the second router so like this I finished uh, implementing my router designing and implementing my internet work uh, my internet work so we have two lens here so I can use also this uh, colors basically to select between different lens so I can do something like this this is LAN this is one LAN and uh, I will come here and change different use different color to specify uh, different LAN okay so like this now everything is okay so uh, okay I have something like this so we have two LANs we have LAN 192.168.100.0 slash 24 and LAN 172.16.200.0 slash 24 and uh, we have two routers these routers are connected through one uh, link uh, with two IP addresses one at each end now I will stop the video here uh, next video I'll show you how to configure all these devices computers and routers in order to allow full connectivity between them